Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Red Dirt Rods. Now today we're working on this really cool project. We've got a sheet metal LS swap mock-up engine that we picked up from SpeedwayMotors.com. This is the short block, but we've also got their sheet metal cylinder heads that bolt onto this. Now the cool thing about this deal is that you can drop this into your chassis so you can do your motor mounts, your accessory drive fitment, even bolt your own cylinder heads and do exhaust before you drop the actual engine into your chassis and do all that heavy lifting. So we're going to bolt all of this together and show you how to do it for your project. All right, so this is the bell housing side. This is the front side. This would be your accessory drive side. So we're going to start with one of these. We're going to take the base. Now, this goes in with, this says 1E, that's the base. This side angles down, so your flanges here are bent up. Just hold this up with two bolts. We're gonna leave all of this loose until it's fully assembled. Then, this is the upper plate. Drop this in. Now this goes upside down. These angles face down. So your flanges right here, your bent section will angle down. Bolts. that right there that's your basic short block then we're gonna put the motor mount pads on and these these are both the same they're marked 1c they just drop on right here okay just like that like that. Then we're going to do the other one. Let's take our plate. This goes on the outside just like that. Drop in the bolts. There we go. Because it's all loose you have to move things around just a little bit to get everything to line up. have it. That is your basic small block sheet metal mock-up engine from Speedway Motors. What's really cool is it's actually got some crank spacing information on here. You can't obviously you can't put a crank on this but you can put your uh, water pump which everything else bolts off of the water pump and the cylinder heads. But this is really cool information for uh, for reference right there in front of you. Now we're going to put together the cylinder heads. All right, so now we're going to do the cylinder heads. These are the two end plates. This is the valve cover mount. This is the uh, exhaust side. And this is the intake side. We we'll start with the exhaust side. We're going to put one bolt in the lower location. Throw that in there, flip that over, throw a nut on there, we're going to do the other side, lower bolt, which is this one, okay, we're going to stand that up like that, okay, then we're going to take the intake side and we're going to go ahead and do the same thing, the lower bolt. cutouts for the nut so it can spin. 
Again, we're just gonna leave all of this loose until we're done. Okay, now we did the lowers because the upper sits inside of these th all pieces, all these three pieces. So we're now we're gonna take our upper, the upper goes towards the outer side. This cutout goes towards the exhaust side. So we'll take another bolt, get this lined up. <clears throat> One real quick thing, you notice that this is slotted, right? So your bolt here can move. In the further, <clears throat> in the lowest position, this is like a standard LS head. In the fully raised position, this fits like an LS7 head. We're gonna do this in the standard configuration. So we're gonna drop that bolt in. Now we're gonna flip this upside down so we can get access to these bolts. Then, I'm just gonna take a 15 millimeter wrench and a 15 millimeter socket, and we're just gonna zip these tight. And there's our cylinder heads. We've got our assembled short block, and it's all tightened down. We've got our cylinder head. Now, we can, <clears throat> you can use bolts from the inside of the cylinder head on the outer bolts, which are gonna go here, but the upper ones where the intake mount is, this, you have to put the nut on the inside. So we're gonna go ahead and put these in. Okay, and that'll hold them on. And then the uppers, we will come in from the back side. Just throw some nuts on. The uppers can be a bit of a tight fit because of the all the bolts in here, but you just slide it up like that. And then the lower one down here. And there you have it. This is the SpeedwayMotors.com sheet metal LS mock-up block. This is the long block, which comes with the sheet metal heads. You don't have to use these. You can use the heads that, you, that are for your engine. We don't happen to have a set, so we can't bolt those on right now. If you used uh, actual LS heads, then you can do a complete front accessory mount and all of that good stuff. As it is, you can bolt a stock intake onto this or drop on an aftermarket intake like this low profile ram from holly that about does it for this project we'll see you next time let's make magic